guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be testing out some new real techniques products i'm so excited um i heard a lot of buzz about these products and i was like let me go ahead and try it i've been wanting to try a new brush they have some new sponges now i did purchase all these products at my local ulta so that's probably the best bet for where you can find it um but i'm just gonna be putting these to the test all right so the first product I'm going to go ahead and start out with is this right here. This is the face sponge. Now they do have one for contour and also for blush, but you guys know that I'm a huge fan of, if I, can I just take this out? I'm a huge fan of foundation. So I'm like, let me go ahead and try a foundation brush. This one did retail for $11.99, something like that. Um, but you can see it feels really soft. So it goes for minimum to mid and then to max for max it's a seamless full coverage for mid it's an even flawless finish and then for minimum is a natural sheer finish which is all the way so for foundation i'm going to be using my wet and wild um, foundation this is the dewy finish and i'm going to mix a little bit of my cookie cosmetics full cover because this one is more full coverage i think i'm going to start off with the more natural sheer finish because I kind of want to see how this does. So when you do it like this, it's not so dense, which is why I think you do get that more so like sheer finish, um, as opposed to when the brush feels super dense, you get more so of a full coverage finish. So you can still see here that it definitely looks more natural for like the natural day. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to leave this cheek like that for just a minute because I want to test out all the settings. And now we're going to go to minimum. Jesus, it takes a lot for me to, there we go. Okay, so now this is like medium coverage. And we're going to try to cover the forehead. Let's do the whole forehead actually. Yeah, this looks more so like a full coverage. I definitely am getting a more medium coverage up here. The reason I'm noticing that is because I feel like the denseness of this brush is a little bit more firm and able to really pack on that product directly onto the face as opposed to when it's all the way open, it's more fluffy and it's not as stiff. So it kind of like goes everywhere. Um, not in a bad way, but in a more so natural way. So you can already tell the difference between the forehead and this cheek. For the max, it's on that setting. And it looks super tight, which looks a little interesting. But we'll have to see. Okay. So I applied around the same amount, same foundation. I'm not really a big fan of the stiffness. Like it doesn't even feel like a kabuki. I feel like I like the best the setting of the middle one because I can still like see the product. This one, it's so far down that I'm like, what the heck? Dense brushes that I love to use for foundation are like densely packed and everything, but they're not that like low, I don't know. But definitely did cover way more of my rosacea than this side. Um, another thing is that this is like plastic, so it does feel kind of cheap. I thought I was gonna like this way more than I'm currently liking it. Like very first impressions, I'm kind of like, uh, this is really pointless. I think it's all right. Maybe for like somebody that's just getting into makeup, but still, I wouldn't even recommend it because of that like last setting. I feel like that last setting is just really, ugh. But we'll have to see. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one is the Real Techniques miracle mixing sponge for foundation and complexion enhancer so it's a two-in-one for customized base okay so this sponge is really really interesting i mean it's just it's so different and unique than what i've tried um but i went ahead and wet it and i feel like it feels really nice and bouncy it definitely got much larger miracle mixing sponge is 5.99 which is actually a pretty good deal if you think about it um so what I quickly want to do is I want to go in with a little bit more foundation because I'm not really pleased with how this is looking right now. So I think now I'm going to go ahead and get used out of the one that I originally mentioned, the Koki Cosmetics High Cover Foundation. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix some with the um, Wet n Wild one. And I'm going to use this little mixing side. So I'm mixing it together. 
This side, I don't know why, but it feels really nice. I feel like if you're somebody that likes to mix foundations a lot or products a lot, then you will like this guy and the sponge as a whole. I feel like for $5.99, that isn't bad. But you just kind of have to play around with it. And like I mentioned, I give props to Real Techniques for being innovative because I feel like so many brands were just coming out with a sponge, a sponge. Okay, we get it, the same sponge that we saw Beauty Blender do. Now we're gonna move on to our concealer because I do want to see how this is gonna apply concealer. So today I'm gonna be using my Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer, which I've been really enjoying lately. And I'm gonna be taking the sponge. Ooh, this guy is messy. Be careful when you put this down because I just got makeup all over my table. Try not to put it too close to your clothes or anything like that. Or when you set it down, just be aware that if you have a lot of foundation on there, it's gonna get messy. Okay, so this is what I'm already used to, like that pointed edge for targeted areas like they mentioned in their directions. Now we're gonna go in, ooh, see this, this is an issue right now. Okay, so I'm going to quickly open this before my eye creases and it's all bad and use the sponge, which this sponge is supposed to be for powder products, which I'm really excited about. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it really quickly because I am creasing by the second. Let me just go ahead and touch that up. Who else creases like me? I want to know because this life is hard. Okay, so I'm taking the sponge. The consistency of the sponge already feels very different. So this is the powder sponge. I feel like it's grasping the powder really well. So this is a foam technology paired with velvety material for evenly blended powder. I'm really impressed with the fact that they came out with a sponge specifically for powders. I'm so used to using my Morphe sponge. The texture automatically feels a lot different. I think this type of texture really allows you to grasp on the product and apply that powder really precisely without it getting all over. I also find myself that sometimes when I'm trying to bake, not a lot of powder goes on. So I'm like trying to like go back in like 10 times because I'm not getting enough product out. So it looks nice. It looks very nice. The fact that this powder looks really nice and like soft on the skin, I mean, it looks really good with the sponge. I love this consistency of this sponge. Like I just feel like it really lays down this powder. So the powder sponge is also $5.99, which I think is a really good deal. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now that I've completed these things is I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face and kind of structure everything with some contour and stuff. And then I want to come back on so that we can kind of clean up the blush with our sponge and see how that does. Hey okay, guys, so I finished this face and now all we have left to do is kind of structure these cheeks a little bit because I applied blush and I kind of want to make them a little bit more snatched. So I'm gonna be taking the powder sponge and I'm just gonna be going in with my Kylie powder, which is literally what I use all the time. You guys know that um, in beige, in case you're wondering. And I'm gonna be taking some powder. Wait, you know what? Wait, I already went in. Hmm, let me just... Oh my God, I'm sold. This already structures it so much better than my Morphe one did. Whenever, you guys saw this too probably, whenever I went ahead and wanted to kind of clean up the edges of my blush and my Morphe one, I had to keep going back and back because I wasn't able to get that good consistency from it. It wasn't picking up the product and I was just like, oh my God. But this, and it's so evenly and seamless, like the packaging says, like it structures it so well. To be quite honest with you guys, I never use this side to um, clean up this blush. I always use the pointed side, but I mean, this point definitely gives you that like structured consistency. Oh my God, yeah. I see the difference. I see the difference 1000%. It's so seamless. The powder doesn't cling onto the foundations. I really appreciate that this sponge is definitely a winner. So now that we've done all this, I want to go ahead and just move right into my final thoughts. And I want to quickly talk about this brush. I have to say, I think this brush is a fail for me. Um, there's nothing special about it. I mean, yeah, I see that they're trying to do something different and innovative, but I just don't like the max setting. Like this is no good for me. Another thing I hate about this is that I really have to use my strength to push this up. 
so that it can give me what I want. Um, as for the sponge that is supposed to be a two-in-one, I like this concept like I mentioned, but I just, I'm not fully 100% there with it and I just feel like the rest of the sponge isn't anything I haven't already tried. Overall, I think the best product that I tried today was the powder sponge. This is gonna be replacing my Morphe sponge. I'm sorry, Morphe sponge. Throw away our Morphe sponge in the trash and now we're gonna be using this Real Techniques powder sponge because this is the truth and you need to go to Ulta right now and get it. So that's pretty much all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope that was informative for those of you who are looking to purchase some of the new Real Technique products. If you did enjoy watching this video um, and want to see more first impressions reviews, then please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's me know to continue doing these types of videos for you guys and it also helps push my content out into the YouTube universe. That being said, I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.